and they have high-tech public relations firms there to neutralize and brainwash the public to go along with all of this. There was a story yesterday in The Guardian making jokes about Bilderberg by the author, and then there's another article today. We got it linked up on PrisonPlanet.com, and he's scheduled to be on the show later. And uh, he tried to walk along the public sidewalk and photograph the hotel Bilderberg Group's meeting in. Police ran over with machine guns and arrested him. And that's uh, now in the news. But the newspaper is kind of reporting on it like he is bad. I mean, he kind of deserves it. It's the same thing when I flew into Canada and they arrested me, interrogated me for 16 hours, said I was going to Canadian federal prison, and sat there screaming at me, spitting in my face with pleasure in little black uniform you know, monkey outfits. I really felt sorry for him. I mean, these were sacks of petty trash. These were people who lived to sit there terrorizing people in customs. And that's who they are. That's that's what they live for. I mean, Canadian Customs routinely kills people in customs, publicly beats them to death. God forbid you have autism or be deaf or blind or something. I mean, they brutalize the living daylights out of you. And it, remember, this is the Greek police who even mainstream national television caught on video Police captains directing uh, big burly anarchists and real anarchists. I've never seen a big burly one. They're usually 150 pounds, super pale skin, and the uh, you know trust fund kids with tattoos all over them coming off of last night's LSD and whiskey binge. No, the anarchists we always see attacking cops and knocking out windows are six foot four, 250 pounds, pure muscle, wearing police boots. And whether it's England or Denver, London, England this year for the G20, or Denver, Colorado, DNC last year, or Montebello, Ottawa, Canada last year, it's confirmed, mainstream news, Toronto Star, Denver Post, London Guardian, it's cops, giant cops. They always pick the big strong ones thinking that, you know, they can beat up the other cops and citizens better and then pose for the news cameras. And uh, they then... Uh, they then... Put that on the news that uh, that the evil citizens are out breaking things, and it, and it was Greece uh, last year during the rioting. Turns out it wasn't rioting at all. Uh, there's video we posted it on Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com of the national newscast even admitting, well, here's police captains directing so-called anarchists to then go break out windows and bust up people's cars and attack shop windows. And it's all on video as the police, in, plain, in in uniform, direct plainclothes officers to pose as demonstrators and go down middle-class neighborhoods with sledgehammers busting up car roofs and windshields. And it came out, why did they do that? Well, you had real demonstrators protesting the private banks that are now privatizing and taking over the government, bankrupting everything, people losing their jobs, the nation going into receivership. They couldn't have families with baby strollers and fathers out encircling, mothers and fathers and good-looking families out encircling the banks and saying, you're the real government, you're the criminals, we want to arrest you. They, uh, they uh, couldn't They couldn't allow that. And so they had police fan out all over Athens and every other city and bash out storefront windows and beat up women. Just like Seattle, they had the cops. It was actually Army in that case. I guess they couldn't find cops. It was Delta Force commanding hired foundation thugs. That's I have three different news articles, Seattle Post Intelligence or Seattle Times and whatever the other one is. It's all in my film, Police State 2, The Takeover. And King News, local news of the police admitting it. And so Bill Clinton had the feds go in and uh, beat up women. They go, look at those dirty anarchists beating up women. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to fight back against them. And then they attacked the 60-plus thousand peaceful demonstrators. 
who are demonstrating against the World Trade Organization. They cannot allow it. They want to send a chilling effect. I got video of uh, police running up and tear gassing, pepper spraying with huge fire extinguisher sized bottles. Babies in baby carriages, and the mothers are trying to get out in uh, Portland, Oregon, is that, is that case. And, and, and the woman's like, let me out, please, let me out. I have a baby. And the cop says, listen, you effing bleeper. To translate, you effing female dog, you shouldn't bring a baby to a protest. Now, I'm supposed to cozy up to the cops and tell them how great they are and Tell them, oh, I know these are just the bad cops, but you know what? They got away with that, and they got away with shooting the guy in the back on the platform there in Oakland and then lying and saying all oh, the cameras malfunctioned and that the guy had been fighting the police. And then just so happened a train had stopped across the other side of the platform and videotaped with a cell phone camera, the guy in handcuffs being executed and then beat up after they'd shot him in the back. Cops roughing him up. Like they throw a tenter tantrum that they that the cop's gun had gone off and he'd executed him. And so they grab everybody's cell phones on video, but that's all on video. And then lying and saying all the cameras malfunction. And it turns out there's three different. First it was one, then two. Now three different squad cars that picked up uh, these two black men being shot and killed in their car here in Austin a few days ago. But don't worry, the police chief has been in our studio twice. He says all the squad car video cameras malfunctioned. <laughs> I guess, though, there's no cell phone video of this, or there isn't cell phone video of it out yet. So, uh, I, you know, maybe Art Ace of Data is telling the truth. Maybe the squad car video cameras really were all turned off in three squad cars. First it was one, then two, now three. I mean, I mean maybe that is what happened. I'm, in fact, that's probably the truth. Everything's fine. And then we get the calls here at the office. Well, these guys were probably out robbing people. You know, they were in a car at night. Well, by that logic, if you get hungry at 1 a.m. after watching a movie, you know, the late night movie, and drive up to 7-Eleven to buy a Bluebell Dutch chocolate pint of ice cream, maybe cops should kill you. I mean, maybe they were out stealing. But the point is, is that they were executed, and now it looks like there's a cover-up going on. And, I mean, every day, ladies and gentlemen, I see these videos, and we air them maybe once a week here. We're not trying to put the cops in a bad light, believe me, or you'd hear a lot more. There's scores of things I could cover every day. I'm frankly sick of it. I wish it wasn't this way. You know, where they uh, shoot some kid, some nine-year-old kid off his bike because he has a yellow plastic gun, and the cops make excuses about it. You know, I remember one time a cop pulled me over. I had a weight belt in the front seat. He pulled a gun out, almost blew my head off. Now, he apologized and let me go and said my weight belt scared him. But still, I almost got my head blown off. I mean, you know... Where is all this going? Look, I'm digressing here. I, I'm, I'm all over the map. It is true. And I've just got incredible news and information here in front of me. And that's the problem. There's just too much of it. I am in overload right now. I know this. As a society, we are at a crossroads. As a society, we are at a historic crossroads. And the choice is clear. We're going into deep tyranny, a technocratic, cybernetic technocracy with drone aircraft and drone hovercraft and drone tanks and robots with weapons patrolling the streets of Tokyo and New York City. I mean, that's all being announced and set up right now. And no, it's not Terminator 4 or 5 or whatever it is. Skynet is already in place. But Skynet hasn't been taken over by the evil machines. Skynet is run by evil humans who want robots that'll do what they're told and carry out all sorts of evil to where the military isn't even needed anymore. And they've already got biological androids, brainwashed, cold, psychopaths, and sociopaths that they've hired out of the military for black ops. But they're replacing you now with the Terminators.